New bombshell details in the case to determine the origins of COVID-19, a House GOP report revealing the Wuhan lab requested significant renovations to air safety and waste treatment systems in buildings less than two years old. Major renovations. According to the House committee, such a significant renovation so soon after the facility began operating appears unusual. All raise questions about how well these systems were functioning in the months prior to the outbreak of COVID-19. Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel joins us now. Good morning, Dr. Siegel. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. Why a major renovation at the Wuhan lab? Why are they asking for these bids from companies? just two years after they open. Looks suspicious, right? Very suspicious. Now, this comes from uh, Rich Edson, our national correspondent, who I've been working with on the COVID origin story. This is a big, big break because it's a big piece of this. Why would a lab that's only two years old suddenly have issues with waste treatment and air safety, air safety with respiratory viruses in that lab? And also, he reported, why is the Wuhan military games a ghost town? In other words, there were no fans there, much as we have seen here in September of 2019, Ainsley. And and people were reportedly getting sick at those games and people came from other countries to those games. And you know, also when I talked to Robert Redfield, he said that satellite photos in September of 2019 showed increased traffic to hospitals and medical facilities in the area. Before long, we're going to end up calling this COVID 2018. And there's also evidence of issues of not just lab leak, because that's becoming more and more and more suspicious, but what was going on in the lab? We're trying to get to the bottom of this. Could this could the viruses there have combined genetics? Could they have been run through humanized mice? Research like that was going on. We always think of science fiction was something done with genetic editing, but it may not have been that. It could have simply been the way that the virus was grown in the lab and then leaked out of the lab. All of this bears further and further investigation, which right. President Biden has promised us. But of course, it's right now not uh, across the aisle in terms of the investigation. We were led to believe that the first cases were seen in the Wuhan area November of 2019. You're saying now September before that, a few months before? Yeah, and not only that, I want to put a spotlight on the idea that the initial virus, and, and the lab, by the way, took down all of its viruses, all of its sequencing, took it down off the web right around the time the suspicious stuff was happening. That's interesting. But also, it turns out that the structure of the virus doesn't fit with a wet market whatsoever. That's been recently found at the Bloom Lab here in the United States. In other words, it clearly came from before November 2019, clearly months before, and doesn't fit the wet market at all. You know, I'm sure all of your friends and especially in your profession and all of your patients are asking you, are we going to shut down again? They're worried about this Delta variant. If you look at Australia, they have police helicopters uh, flying over the beaches and telling people to get off the beach. Watch this. They're forcibly locking people down. Are we going to see something like that here, do you think, Dr. Siegel? I certainly hope not. First of all, it doesn't work. Lockdowns were used extensively in Australia throughout the pandemic, as you know, and kept the numbers down. 20,000 cases uh, in Victoria, 9,000 cases in New South Wales. Now they're starting to see an increase in cases, 475 yesterday, and they're panicking with a police state. Listen, Ainsley, here's the science of this. Australia locked down the whole continent, okay, and they didn't let anybody in, and they kept the numbers really low. Now, according to my sources, doctors practicing there, they're having trouble getting people to take the vaccine because they think it's a theoretical threat, but the virus is, of course, a real threat. So then they're responding, the government is, by more and more superimposed police state lockdowns. But when the virus, and we learned this here the hard way, when the virus is already going through households, you can lock down all you want. It is not going to prevent spread. And that's what they're learning in Australia. All they're doing is causing great collateral damage, psychological harm and trauma, and people separated. That's just the wrong way to go. Dr. Siegel, thank you for coming on with us today. Always My pleasure, you. Ainsley. Thank Always. You. Thank you. Yeah.